Yeah, Zarski, what's poppin' everybody? Hope you're having a blessed day and welcome back to Shark Sports. And today, we're gonna bring back, of course, YouTube's favorite football series, Five Star vs. One Star. The series where we find out the real talent difference between a five star recruit and a one star recruit. So, real quick, leave this video a like and also comment down below what position you guys wanna see me cover next in the Five Star vs. One Star series. So, jumping straight into it, our one star safety is actually a two star safety. Couldn't find anybody ranked lower. Coming out of Castile High School, I'm talking, of course, about Connor Clinton, the 39th best player in Arizona and the 147th best safety nationally. And our five star safety is a name that you guys are probably well and familiar with. I'm of course talking about five star Ohio State commit Sonny Styles, the 6'4, 215 pound safety, who is the second best player in Ohio and the number one safety in the country. So let's jump straight into it and see what really separates a five star safety from a one star safety. Three, two, one. Psh. So let's jump into it and first take a look at our one-star safety, Connor Clinton. And real quick, I forgot to mention that he is a Army commit. So I want to say thank you for your future. Oh, I, I, yo, I thought it was by the one hand pick that for a second. I want to say thank you for your future uh, service for our country. I really do appreciate that, man. I see what he's looking like on the football field. Definitely rangy out here. Got that ball hawk mentality out here. And he's got solid size too. I mean, 6'1", 190 for a safety. Coming down and laying a nice hit. 6'1", 190 for a safety is I, what I would consider to be prototypical size. There you go. Again, hey, all of my safeties and linebackers out here, look at how when he makes this tackle right here, he doesn't let his feet down from underneath him and he keeps on driving. That's the difference between that being a converted first down and now being fourth and short. Great tackle right there. There you go again, not letting his legs down from underneath him. He starts driving dudes back. Let's go. So the one area that I could see so far that he would have to improve on, um, on his on his 24/7s uh, page, it said that he ran a 4.940. So that is definitely gonna have to come down to be able to cover those speedy receivers. I mean, it don't look like he runs 4.9. I mean, it's not like he's out here running 4.5, for, but I would I would say he's probably somewhere like the four high four sevens low four eights somewhere around there but he's, he's just a playmaker wherever you end up putting him he's just making plays he can cover ground in the passing in the passing game uh obviously he has no problem coming down and laying a tackle i'm sorry my guy you can't really put that that, was, that wasn't even you didn't even really make force the fall but the receiver just dropped it Hey, way to keep the play in front of you, though, right there. Hey, way to keep the play in front of you. Right place, right time. Let's go. Again, he he's a solid tackler. I, I, the the biggest reason why his tackling is so is so good is because he wraps up and he doesn't let his legs out from underneath them. Definitely has to work on just overall athleticism as far as just like getting quicker, reading plays quicker, but that just comes to watching more film in which you will do a lot of at the next level. Um, yeah, if he's able to really just work on his speed so he's able to cover more ground, that's really gonna help him out a lot. Hey, like on a play like that, this is a great play right here. He's keeping the guy in front of him. Where are you going? As soon as he sees it, breaks on it and tackles him is the second that he uh, makes that catch. There you go. And now let's compare Connor's tape to five-star safety, Sonny Styles. Dude is an absolute. First off, he's just one of the most physically gifted players in the entire 2022 class. Homie is 6'4", 210, probably 215, 220, and runs like a 175-pound receiver. Like he is, dude is just too, he's, you'll see, you'll see. Breaks through the line, give me that, too easy. And Raps got, see, especially at safety, like you have to be an athlete. There's a couple positions that, you know what, a hey, quarterback, running back, uh, what other, what other positions? You know, receiver sometimes, you don't really need to be the craziest athlete to be effective. I feel like for safety, you, you gotta be one of the better athletes on the field for sure. I'm not saying that you have to be the best athlete because I feel like that's reserved for tight ends and defensive ends, but, but. Hey, you, you definitely you definitely got to be able to move around. 
throwing up ducks out there. Great job. Of, look, look at this fake to the, actually he's going outside and then screw right inside. The homie just played himself. Great block. Let's go. Scooby score. And bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, receiver. You got absolutely taken out. Again, just that aggressiveness, that ability to just close on guys that much quicker. I mean, I think Sunny Styles runs somewhere in the four mid to high four fives, low four sixes, which again, he's six four. I mean, he's good. He's six four two ten. He's literally going to be bigger than 99% of the receivers that he goes up against. So it's not like you're just trying to throw it over the top of them. Like you're really going to have to contend with them. Bop, sit him down. Yeah. The only, the only thing, while he is a much more physical tackler, he doesn't always wrap guys up because he's, he's trying to just take everybody's head off. So the more he's able to really wrap guys up and have more form tackles, it's only going to make him that much better of a player. There it is, going to break that up. Wait, quarterback, just, wait, where are you going? Where are you going, quarterback? So that was one star, really a two star safety in Connor Clinton's highlight tape compared to five star safety Sonny Styles' highlight tape. I want you guys to comment down below, obviously besides the fact of like the height and weight difference, what were some of the things that you guys saw that were the differences between the two? For me, off, off, obviously off the bat, it's just going to be the speed of play. Sonny's playing at a way higher speed. On top of that, he's just a more physical player all around. He, he's out there flying around, playing more aggressively, just really trying to just set the tone on the defensive side of the ball. I feel like my guy Connor, he likes to keep the plays more in front of him, which as a safety, I'm not too mad at. But there's certain times where he could definitely come downfield and uh, lay a bigger hit. But also, he has to just work on, on the speed overall because that's what's really going to put him in the best position possible to be able to make a play because he he does a good job of being in the right position but for example like that first that first play in Connor's highlight tape where he was rolling over the top and then he had a pass breakup if he was even just a little bit faster that would have been a pick like just those little things are what's really going to take Connor and really help him develop once he gets the army and Sonny Styles is just a physical freak I mean the dude could play outside linebacker if he wanted to which he he honestly might get converted to outside linebacker. I mean, 6'4", 210. He's, he's just in high school. He's not even done growing yet. Honestly, he's probably going to get moved to outside linebacker. But, hey, again, I want y'all to comment down below what y'all thought was the biggest difference between the two. All right, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Also, comment down below what position you guys want to see me cover next in the 5 Star vs. 1 Star series. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping on the channel. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.